Hi and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Held Air and Dry Gore-Tex Gloves. It's their two-in-one summer glove and it costs £157.99 a pair. So as the name suggests with air and dry and the fact that they're a two in one glove, you've got two gloves in one. You can have an airy summer glove or you can have a waterproof summer glove. And it works thanks to the dual chamber design that Held came up with a few years ago. So if you want, if it's raining and you want a glove to keep you dry, put your hand in behind this dry tab here and your hands kind of enveloped by a Gore-Tex membrane all wrapped around. If the temperature's warm and you don't need that Gore-Tex, you want more breathability, you actually want your hands to be a bit cooler. Put it in front of the dry chamber here into the, what they call the breezy chamber and then your hand palm is directly against this kangaroo leather palm here with all this ventilation across the front. So they're never going to be as airy as a completely perforated summer glove, that's just not going to happen. You'll need to buy something dedicated for that. But you will get airflow through that palm. The best way I've found in my experience with this glove to do that is to ride with kind of an open palm, lift the fingers when you get the opportunity and you'll get some airflow through the front there. So you've got that coverage for the, for the summer weather and then if the weather turns, put it in the back there and you've got the Gore-Tex all the way around. In my experience, it's really good at keeping out the rain as you'd expect from a Gore-Tex glove. It's also got that guarantee that Gore-Tex offer. So, you're protected. If something goes wrong and there's a fault with the workmanship, then uh, Gore-Tex themselves will cover you. Regardless of whether they're two-in glove or a one-in-one glove, there's, a, there's something about held gloves that's just a, a really nice quality. It's what they started doing. They've gone on and done all sorts of other clothing and even helmets, but really their heritage is in gloves and you can tell. They're made from a combination of leather in the key impact areas, but there's also Cordura textile in the areas where you want flexibility or you want more airflow. You've got stretch Cordura around the thumb, which is where the most flexibility is, is required really. That's where you're most likely to, to want to be moving around. You've got textile across the back of the hand, again for breathability. You've got the accordion stretch panel behind the knuckle armor here, plastic knuckle armor for impact. Across the front here, two air vents in the central fingers, Plenty of light reflective material here to light up in a, in a car's headlight. And then there's the super fabric panels across the top here. These just add a little bit of extra abrasion and impact resistance across there. Then we've also got that on the palm across here, on the heel of the palm. Uh, so there's more, more super fabric there. Then the additional layer of leather across the side, which is that's the most vulnerable seam if something goes wrong. That's the one that's most likely to touch the road. So here you have an, an overlay of leather down there for extra protection. The wrist restraint is a complete wraparound. That's the most effective method of wrist restraint. The least effective is when the entire thing is on the back of the hand. That's not, as a, that's not so effective. In the middle is where you've got it on the on the palm of under the palm here because that restraint then bumps up against the bony extrusion at the base of your palm the most effective is when it wraps completely around and then fastens at the back lock on here so that is the most likely to keep your hand inside the glove if things go wrong then there's a, a fairly standard wrist restraint which gives you room to get the glove over your jacket or under your jacket depending on your preference probably to suit the weather inside if it's if it's raining and you're using it in that configuration on the outside if it's dry and you want more airflow through. So on the palm, mostly that kangaroo leather construction we spoke about with the perforations to get the airflow through. Cordura between the fingers for more flexibility. There's that super fabric panel here at the heel of the palm, which as well as adding extra abrasion resistance and some cushioning behind there for a bit of impact protection. It also is reduced friction. So it means your hand is less likely to get caught underneath your body in an accident. It'll slide out from underneath you, which is usually the better way you want it. There's also this non-slip panel around here, which just means that you are wearing the palm leather less when, when you're grabbing hold of the handlebar grips and it's more likely to stay 
firmly connected with it. Protection across the glove, we've shown you the impact protection and the, the leather there with the abrasion resistance. They're rated to CE level one, which is in line with pretty much everything. That's the basic level, but most gloves are, are uh, approved to CE level one and the knuckle protection is part of the CE approval. So as I said, Held's Origins Lion Gloves, it's what they do. And um, one of the fairly neat features they have with these gloves that's in common with several other Held models is finger length options. So as well as being able to order uh, a size to suit the circumference of your palm, you can also adjust the size to suit the length of your fingers. So they have, every size has three finger length options, short, regular, and long. If you're the sort of person who regularly finds that there's a large excess flapping around at the end of the fingers while you're riding on normal gloves, then you can order the short finger length and then you, it should bring it down to much more acceptable level. And equally, if you find that there's not room in there for the fingers, then what you're having to do is buy a bigger glove and then having all the excess material around your palm to accommodate your fingers. You don't have to do that with these gloves and certain other held models. You can just order the long finger and have the fit that's ideal for you around the palm and on the fingers. I've had a pair of these held air and dry Gore-Tex gloves now for about five years since they first came out and I've found them really effective in certain circumstances. If I'm off on a trip and I don't know what the weather's going to be like, it might be wet, it might be dry, and I want something to cover both rather than taking two pairs of gloves, then these are absolutely perfect for that. I'm not on my own in, in loving them. There's been a host of great customer reviews on the Sports Bike Shop site over the years, more than 60 of them, and it scores 4.78 out of 5, which is pretty damn high for a pair of gloves. And there's very few criticisms of the gloves when you pick your way through the reviews. They really are popular, uh, and as I said, I can see why. So those have been the Held Air and Dry Gore-Tex gloves. If there's anything that you feel we've not covered in this, please pop a question in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can with an answer on that. But otherwise, thanks for watching.